Hi, I'm Kim. Why don't you come and hear a story with me? We're going to read this book today, Digging Up Dinosaurs, written by a leaky. Have you ever seen dinosaur skeletons in a museum? I have. I visit them all the time. I went again yesterday and I saw a Patosaurus. I saw Corythosaurus. I saw Iguanodon and Triceratops. I like to say their names. Scolosaurus was just where I had left it, and Tyrannosaurus rex looked as fierce as ever. Tyrannosaurus used to scare me. I still can't believe how big it is. Just its head is almost twice my size. I'm not afraid of dinosaurs anymore. Sometimes I call them a big bag of bones under my breath. I can spend hours looking at them. I wonder where they came from and how they got to the museum. And then I found out. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. A few of them were as small as birds, but most were enormous. Some dinosaurs ate plants. Some dinosaurs ate the meat of other dinosaurs. And some may have even eaten the eggs of other dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived almost everywhere on Earth. They lived for millions of years, then they died out. No one is sure why they became extinct, but they did. There hasn't been a dinosaur around for 65 million years. Until about 200 years ago, no one knew anything about dinosaurs. Then people began finding things in rocks. They found large footprints. They found huge, mysterious bones and strange teeth. People were finding fossils and they began asking questions about them. What monster made a footprint three feet long? Did this belong to a human giant? What beast had teeth that were six inches? Fossils are a kind of diary of the past. They are remains of plants and animals that died long ago. Instead of rotting or crumbling them away, the remains were preserved and slowly turned into stone. Can you see here the dinosaur dies and it sinks into the river? As its flesh rots, its skeleton is covered with mud. In time, the mud and skeleton turn into stone. The dinosaur is hidden for millions of years. The earth changes and some of the stone breaks away and part of the dinosaur is exposed for us to discover. Fossil hunters found more and more big bones in different parts of the world. Scientists studied the fossils. They said the bones and teeth and footprints all belonged to a group of giant reptiles that lived on Earth for millions of years. The giants were named Dinosauria, which means terrible lizard. What finds were these? People crowded into museums to see them. But the dinosaur bones didn't get up and walk there. They had to be dug out of the ground, slowly and patiently. As soon as a bone is uncovered, it is brushed with shellac. The shellac helps hold the bone together so it won't crumble. Then the bone is numbered. Sometimes a skeleton has to be cut apart so that it can be moved. The draftsman draws each bone in its exact position. The photographer takes pictures. That way there can be no mix-up later when someone tries to put the skeleton together. When the bones are ready to be moved, they are carefully wrapped. Small bones are wrapped in tissue paper and put into boxes or sacks. Large bones are left half buried in the rock. They will be dug out later in the museum. These fossils are covered with a plaster cast, just like a broken leg would be. Each bone is then packed in straw, 
put into a crate and taken to the museum. At the museum, scientists unwrap the fossil. They finish digging it out of the rock and they study the bone. They compare the bones to other dinosaur bones. They compare them to the bones of other animals. They try to figure out what size and shape the dinosaur was. They try to find out how the dinosaur stood and walked and what it ate. If there are enough bones, scientists are able to build a complete skeleton. A frame is made in the shape of the dinosaur to support the bones. The bones are wired together one by one. They are held in place with pieces of metal. If any bones are missing, plastic or fiberglass ones are made to replace them. You can hardly tell the new bones from the old bones. After many months, the work is complete and the dinosaur skeleton looks just as it once did. Until recently, only a few museums had dinosaurs. Then scientists learned how to make copies of the skeletons. The copy is hard to make and it takes a long time. The original skeleton has to be taken apart completely bone by bone. A mold is made for each bone. The new pieces are made of fiberglass. A fiberglass dinosaur can be as scary as the original, but it's much stronger and is much lighter. Now all museums all over the world have dinosaur skeletons and many people can spend hours looking at them just the way I do.